Welcome back to another Rat Face 44 Reviews. My name is James, and today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series, Big Boa. So let's get this started. So before we get this started, big shout out to DJC Collectibles. Link will be in the description below. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. As you can see, the old packaging. Gotta love it. Sorry to say, it's going bye-bye. So here is Big Boa, all displayed out in the window packaging. Got a great piece of artwork here. Really cool. And we have the G.I. Joe logo, Cobra logo. Here's all the accessories displayed out. And on this side of the packaging, you have the same artwork, just in a larger format. He's wearing his mask, which is really cool. You got the Cobra emblem on his boxing gloves. G.I. Joe logo, number 114 in the line. On the back of the packaging, 114, you have some cool digital render. In the octagon, it looks like, with the fences in the background. You got zoom in aspects of some details. You got zoom in shots of his helmet. And you got zoom in shots of his hands. And you got some uh, bloody wraps around his knuckles. Very cool looking, boring stuff on the bottom. And on this side of the packaging, you got the blue render. You got the QR code 114 and aspects. We don't know what they are. <laughs> so I got my trusty scalpel here. Let's open them up and take a look. We got a really cool Cobra logo in the background here. That's awesome. And here is Big Boa in the plastic. So let me take the figure out of the packaging and we'll look at the accessories. All right, guys. So first off, we have these red wristbands. There are two of them. Not too much detail here. And next, we have two boxing gloves. Cool deco of the Cobra emblem on the boxing gloves. You got white on the inside. And they both are exactly the same. And next we have some barbells. Looks like they're 90 pounds times two. You got two of them. Not too much detail here. You got some grips on the handles and it looks like there's a molding of uh, 90 on there. And lastly, we have the crazy helmet of Big Ben. You got some silver spikes with a red kind of highlight in the middle. That is very cool. We got some crazy technical silver detail on his ears. We have a kind of like a pump or a rebreather. And we got this kind of Darth Vader type of <laughs> mouthpiece with like a yellow uh, kind of vent for his eyes. This is the craziest helmet. Very cool. And stay tuned, we'll have a vintage comparison later on in this video. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. Let's take a look at the head sculpt. That is a, a gnarly face. Check that out. He looks all beat up. Freaking gnarly. <laughs> Holy smokes. So he is missing a couple of teeth. His eyes are all kind of wonky. So even if the, the face print was bad, <laughs> his face is already disgusting looking <laughs> cool sculpt cool hair sculpt and black hair his, his lips are a, a little too red for my liking i might add he is ripped totally ripped these are sergeant slaughter's roblox arms they are pinned double jointed we have his uh snm kind of uh, <laughs> straps around his chest we got some silver spikes that go all the way around to the back this is the, one of the craziest figures for sure. He has this red crotch piece. He has a silver belt buckle. He has these kind of rivets <laughs> over the crotch piece. Cod piece, I should say. I uh, got another kind of silver belt buckle on the back. He has these blue tights on, double jointed, pinless knees. He got black boots with some red on the side. These boots look pretty cool kind of thing they look more like they look like wrestling or boxing boots i guess <laughs> so on his hands he has these bloody straps he has 
kind of red wristbands and uh yeah that's a nice touch i like the blood on the on the on the knuckle dusters there on the knuckle uh tape i should say very cool we got uh looks like the he has gripping hands check that out i don't know if this is just like the first time we've seen uh gripping hands in the line um i'm not sure if uh mutt or junkyard has them but i believe these are the first time we see type of gripping hands these are a little tricky to get him in his hand so that's uh that fits pretty good i'm gonna try the other one just for uh you know shits and giggles <laughs> There we go, I was able to put the weights in his hand. His thumb is kind of bent. <laughs> it's a little tricky to get it in. There you go, I think that's the best I can do it so far. So now you can, now you can start doing some curls. <laughs> Next, let's go ahead and put on the boxing gloves. Here we put the wristbands on. Grab the right one. Hopefully the peg doesn't bend. It looks a little thin to me. There you go, got the boxing gloves on. Uh, the legs are a little loose. Ab crunch is good. He doesn't have wiggly syndrome. All right, let's go ahead and swap this head out because I'm not going to be using this head. I'm going to be using this, of course, just like the OG. I believe that's on. It didn't make any popping noise. So there you have it. So there you have it, Big Boa. Back to his OG look. I definitely prefer this over his crazy head sculpt here. Get a little bit of a closer look at that. So we can't have a G.I. Joe Classified series review without doing some comparisons. So let's go ahead and compare it to Airborne. As you can see, is towering over Airborne. If I can get Airborne to stand up here. <laughs> there you go. So here's a height comparison with Sergeant Slaughter and Sepentor. Big Boa is definitely the same height or maybe... A little bit smaller than Sergeant Slaughter, and it looks like Sepentor is still the biggest classified figure in the line. So let's go ahead and do a vintage comparison. So here's my vintage Big Boa. He has the uh, yellowing plastic syndrome on his legs, unfortunately. You can see the, the blue is supposed to be like that. So let's go ahead and just compare that helmet, that mask. The vintage one has a lot more silver on the mouth. Looks very, very similar. Definitely inspired. The classified one definitely has more sharper uh, spikes on the helmet for sure, because this is made for kids. And it's pretty much one for one. Boots are like almost exactly the same. So there you have it, guys. There is my review of Big Boa. Overall thoughts, the wackiest, one of the wackiest Cobra characters ever, for sure. He looks like a crazy wrestler uh, slash trainer for Cobra. He is one of those characters that you love to hate. And uh, it's a wacky addition to your Cobra collection. Love him or hate him, he looks absolutely crazy. So if you like my review, please like, comment, and subscribe. I want to thank all my subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thanks for watching. Yo, Joe and Cobra.